you might be trying to improve in Rocket League completely wrong. Meaning, if your progress has stopped, there's actually two or three simple fixes you can probably make to start improving again immediately. Once you understand these four, or actually five, key concepts today, you can be back on the road to ranking up in less than 10 minutes. Let's get started. Key concept number one is something called habituation. Habituation is the slow human process where we start to form habits and we forget about actions we repeatedly perform. For example, when you go to the bathroom to brush your teeth, hopefully every night, and you open your drawer, your hand knows where to reach for the toothpaste without you having to think about it. Yet in Rocket League, we start to form these same habits, but the problem is we don't realize it. To explain, let me tell you a story. Basically, there's a group of scientists who did a study on rats to figure out how how habits are formed. And basically what they did is they put these rats in a maze with chocolate at the end. For sake of example, let's imagine we, the Rocket League players, are the rats and uh, the rank jungle is the maze. Stick with me here. When they put the rats in the maze for the first time and the rats looked for the chocolate at the end of the maze, what the scientists noticed was a lot of brain activity. They scanned the rats' brains and they saw that, you know, all the areas were firing, there was tons going on up there and they were learning a lot. Here's the problem though. They ran the study a few more times and the more they ran it, the less brain activity the rats observed. Meaning, the more times you run a specific protocol or you run a specific routine, the less you think about it. Bringing this back to Rocket League, what this means is when we queue ranked, what starts to happen is we become blind to our own bad habits. So for example, every time the ball goes into your corner, you might push up too far one time, but the more you continue to do it without stopping it, the more it becomes habit and you don't realize what's holding you back is the fact that you push too far into the corner every time the ball is hit there. Here's two ways you can fix this. Number one, watch your own replays. The difference between watching your replay and queuing ranked, you can actually focus 100% on your mistakes. This breaks that routine and allows you to see your bad habits that you would never see in game. Strategy number two, ask your friends in real time. I was actually queuing ranked 2v2 with a soon to be CRL player named Variety the other day. And I noticed I have this problem of going for bumps too much in my games. So what I did is in the middle of our game, when I was queuing at, you know, 1750 with Variety, I stopped and I said, hey, you know how I went for this bump Variety? Was that actually a good decision? That way, immediately Variety answered, spoiler, he said, no, Luke, you're an idiot. Don't go for a bump there. But what it did is it immediately interrupted my decision-making process and stop this bad habit before it can form. Point is, if you can be aware of habituation and you can one, watch your own replays, or two, ask friends when you notice you're doing a bad habit to sort of catch you out, you're gonna improve three times as fast and you won't get stuck trying to fix something later. The second reason you stopped improving is because you're playing with the wrong mindset. Wait, Platts, before you click off, I promise this is not the sort of mindset you're thinking of. When I'm talking about mindset, I think there are two ways that people play Rocket League. The first way is what I call the just for fun mindset. This is when you queue Rocket League with music playing in the background, YouTube pulled up on your second monitor, and you're not focused. This is fine if you just want to play the game and relax, but it's not going to help you improve. The second mindset that I recommend you start using if you want to rank up in Rocket League is the focused mindset. The focused mindset mindset is when you put aside all distractions and you are focused on ranking up. This means no music. This means no YouTube on the second monitor and no picking up your phone in between games. Look, I'm not saying you can't listen to music if you don't want to enjoy it or if it helps you play better sometimes. What I'm saying is if you want to get your max improvement, you want to be focused on your mistakes. This means in between games, you're thinking about what happened last game and how you're going to improve. This means in between goals, you're writing down or at least thinking to yourself, what cost me that goal? That way you can identify your mistakes. If you don't believe me, take it from top 100 streamers. People like Jamaican Coconut, who's a high-ranked tooth player, said that if he wants to improve, he can't 
stream because when he streams, he doesn't have a focused improvement mindset. Pros like Arsenal have backed this up. And so my point is, if the pros are focusing 100% to get max improvement and you're noticing yours is stopping, maybe take a page from their books and focus on your mistakes in game. You're going to rank up three times faster as everybody else who's just playing for fun. The third reason you stopped improving is because you don't understand the theory of constraints. Update, if you didn't just see my announcement in Discord, our coaching sponsor just hired three new RLCS players. Shot from him and he finishes off the game. What a shot from Seabass! And one ex RLCS coach to join their coaching bootcamp. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Grand Champ Bootcamp coaches Plat through Champ ranked players up to Grand Champ in 12 weeks time. So if you're one of those three ranks watching right now, you can DM their Discord account with the keyword RLCS to see if you might qualify for coaching. I'll have their Discord first link down below and back to the video. The theory of constraints says that at any given time in a system, just like a chain, there is one link that is the weakest. And if you improve this weak link, that's going to give you the most dramatic improvement in the performance of the whole system. In Rocket League, what this means is that at any given time, there's one thing that's holding you back the most. And if you don't identify what this thing is, you could be training or trying to improve a lot, but at the end of the day, you're going to be improving the wrong thing. For example, let's say the reason you're getting scored 80% of the time is because your shadow defense and your backward saves are really bad. This means your number one constraint is your shadow defense. So if you know this, but then you go into ranked 3v3 where you never have to shadow defend, yes, you're playing the game and getting more experience, but you're not going to improve at your fastest rate. Instead, if your goal was to improve at your fastest rate and you know your shadow defense is bad, then queuing 1v1 should be better. Now, the important caveat here is your constraint changes. And I'm not saying you just have to play 1v1. But the point is, identify the constraint and isolate that specifically, and your gameplay could transform in just a week's time. Mistake number four, focusing on more than one skill at a time. Rocket League is a game of seemingly infinite skills, and the way you might improve one skill is not the same way that you might improve another skill. For example, if you're a champ two player and you have great game sense, but your weakness is mechanics, then the best way to improve for you would be to spend time to get your mechanics up to speed. Yet, if you're a plat three freestyler with great mechanics, but your decision making in game is just terrible, you know, you're always in the wrong spot, then you need to spend more time in game in 2v2 situations getting gameplay experience. There's a saying that goes, when you try to chase two rabbits, you often catch none. And in Rocket League, it's like, if you try to get mechanical and get good game sense at the same time, you'll have zero mechanics and zero game sense. So for starters, break it down to that simple question. Would I get better if I improved my mechanics more or would I get better if I improved my game sense more? Then you can know, hey, do I need to spend more time in free play training or do I need to spend more time in gameplay situations in ones, in twos to see the most improvement? That one question alone might be the unlock for you to climb your next one or two whole ranks. The last reason you might think you might not be ranking up is something called skill inflation. If you're watching my video, you might watch a lot of Rocket League social media. And while it's great to watch other people and learn from other mistakes. The problem with watching the sensational stuff that gets put on social media is it's always the extremes. And so if you spend a lot of time on social media, it's easy to think that everybody else is improving faster than you are. Yet the reality is you're watching their highlight reels. And if you saw all the misses it took to get those clips, you might realize that they're just like you. Not only that, but in the last few years, Rocket League has seen a lot of skill inflation as well. Skill inflation just means the rising level of skill that comes with aging of a video game. So for Rocket League, which is now an eight year old game, the gap now between pros and a player just starting is bigger than it's ever been. And so you might actually be improving, but because the skill level of everybody else in the game is also climbing, you might stay at the same rank, even though you're getting better. The solution to all of this is to stop comparing yourself to other people. You can look to others for inspiration, but you only want to compare yourself to yourself. Point is, when you zoom out and you actually take a step back to look at your gameplay, you might realize you've improved way more than you think you have. And the truth is, most of the time, we're just being too hard on ourselves and our problems are all up here. Okay, those are the reasons you might not be ranking up. And if you made it to this point, you now have permission to make fun of my new haircut. You can go over to my social media, go over to my 
Instagram, Spook Luke Graham. You know, go on one of my posts and say, nice haircut, Luke, LOL. And, uh, you know, you would be right. All right, that's me, people. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Peace, guys.